Yamato is one of the most famous ships in the world's naval history. However, that this ship was one of the first to appear in our game eventually created a problem, because our quality standards and production capabilities have increased dramatically in its lifetime. Simply put, compared to newer ships, Yamato just didn't look very good. The model needed to be designed anew. Constructing such huge ships could possibly be compared to undertaking a space program for any country at that time. Their design and construction were surrounded by the thickest veils of secrecy. Until the end of the war, nobody knew what guns they were equipped with or what army they were protected with. The German Navy attaché visited Yamato, but he was guided along a route on which he couldn't see the guns and their calibre by any means. You might wonder why, but whatever their reasons, the Japanese kept their secrets until the end. We decided to visit Japan because, at that time, we didn't have access to enough information about the Japanese Navy. In the archives, we found various technical documentation, recorded memories of eyewitnesses, and some photos. Based on the information we obtained, we decided that it would be necessary to rework Yamato. The sources describing Yamato, various books and publications, often don't agree and even contradict each other on many things. We needed to know which of these sources we could rely on, which of them were closer to the truth. While we were reviewing the historical information, we found that the three-barreled anti-aircraft guns, which were previously considered the same, were actually designed differently. Even their enclosed turrets existed in three variants. Accordingly, we had to implement all three variants to make our ship look as close to the original as possible. Japanese wisdom suggests that where there is symmetry, there is no life. This is why many objects on the ship are asymmetrical. The port side of the superstructure is different from the starboard side, and why many objects are placed differently. Therefore, if something was symmetrical on the model, you needed to take a closer look. Perhaps it might need to be moved a bit. For example, we noticed that the ladders on the stack were shifted to one side. We've worked on the ship for almost five months. Around seven modelers were involved in the project, in addition to people supervising progress on the ship and the work on it. Its superstructures and the outfitting of the ship were reworked completely. New missile objects, starting from armament and ending with signal and surveillance systems, were created. Generally speaking, the updated Yamoto represents the cutting-edge quality of our ships. In fact, Yamato is notable for her two main advantages. Firstly, her caliber of 460 millimeters, of course. This allows her to penetrate 32 millimeters with direct hits at the bow. It's basically the thickness of bow and the aft plating on all tier 10 battleships. No other battleship can do that. Secondly, she has a special armor layout. Her deck is very well armored, 50 millimeters in the center even 57 millimeters at points, and that allows her to deflect a large number of high explosive shells. But the main shortcoming of Yamato is her vulnerability to armor-piercing hits on her sides and angled projections. This is why it can be quite dangerous to get too close to other battleships. So your main objective is to keep the enemy at a distance. A samurai fights until the very end, and that was the way the Japanese Navy fought. The history of Yamato, and particularly her last mission, is one of the most vivid examples of that samurai spirit, their methods of warfare, and engaging the enemy in battle.
We've recreated Yamato in our game as she was just prior to her last voyage, before her destruction. There are no existing blueprints, no detailed description, and not even good photos showing how she looked at that time. Eyewitness accounts mention that the pyramidal crane was removed from Yamato's aft on the eve of her last cruise. We looked through some American photos and found confirmation of this information. The photos that we have at our disposal are either those taken by American bombers when they were destroying Yamato, or several pictures taken of her crew in front of their ship before their departure. Unfortunately, we don't have a device that can infinitely zoom in on a picture without losing clarity. Nevertheless, it is possible to distinguish that a large object is missing. Despite the many years between then and now, the Japanese sailors were still able to help us without knowing it. When they took those pictures, some important elements of the ship were in frame. For example, an air vent or a fragment of an anti-aircraft gun. In our approach, we search for these pieces and do our best to recreate at least that element. We've recreated such elements as the anchor chain's position on the deck, with the loosening that's standard for the Japanese Navy, but unconventional for other countries. Small details like these were not implemented in the previous model. Battleships were the pride and joy of every nation. They were the embodiment of cutting-edge technology. Their construction presented the biggest challenges for the industry, economy and science of any country that set out to build them. Of course, Japanese battleships were their greatest pride and could boast being the largest in the world. I was very excited when we showed the first model of Yamata in Japan during the Tokyo Game Show on an enormous screen and to a large crowd of our players. But now I'm even more proud of the work that we've done. This ship is a truly symbolic one. Updating the model that we previously had marks a very important step for our game. In general, I understood everything about Yamato when I got her in my port, entered a battle, put on my headphones and just fired a salvo. That sound. I felt very cool back then. Do I think that everyone should have a Yamato in port? Yes and no. But everyone should at least try firing her guns. 